Hello, Jody here from Jolly Natural Skin Care and today I wanted to show you how to make your own aloe vera mask. We start with an aloe vera leaf. And firstly you want to peel off the sharp bits. Just get them out of the way. Then you want to peel the arch side. And you want to take it down as far as you can on the leaf. It's been tricky today. I don't normally have this drama. But today it's like, oh, the cameras are on. <laughs> Let's be crazy. Okay, so here we have a fillet and we get a nice sharp fillet knife and we slice down and see so now it's flat you see that now that we've cut it So now we have our nice little wad of gel. You can cut the green bits off a bit more if you want. It's not super like bad that they're there. Now it looks sort of pretty unusual, uh, unusable <laughs> in this state. And it's very slimy, you can see that. So we put this in a container and we add a splash of vodka. In this case I'm just going to go with a, a lid full because we don't have a lot of aloe vera. And you can play around with quantity and consistency depending on how runny you'd like it or how thick. The alcohol preserves, but it also helps you liquefy the gel. It's also good for things like blemishes, acne, because it disinfects and kills off bacteria. So you can have additives to this as well, such as essential oils. So for example, I'll be adding tea tree because that's good for blemished skin and this mask in general is good for blemished skin. So we give this a whiz and purify it, liquefy it. So you can see there it's now liquefied, running, and it has an interesting type of texture. As I said, you can add more alcohol if you want to make it more liquidy. So add some essential oil. I only need about 
one or two drops for this quantity and this would be enough to maybe make one or two uses maybe even three uses of a mask and you can also add things like clays to give a bit of color so you could use a green clay a pink clay a white clay that is of course optional it's just a matter of maybe if you want a little bit of color in your mask so a green clay might be useful for something like this and I'm thinking natural colors obviously food coloring you don't really want to put that on your face so just add a sprinkle not a huge amount give that a whiz So now it's changed the colour to that sort of greyish, greenish colour that the clay was. And so now you can just start using this on your skin as is. And if you have any questions, let me know. If you want any sort of suggestions or mask ideas, let me know. But you just apply this to your face with a fan brush and leave it to dry. Have it on for at least 10 minutes, but you can have it on for hours. It doesn't matter how long it is. You just put this on any time you're having sort of a bad, mad breakout. It's just good for your, for healing your skin. Any questions, drop me a comment. And as always, thank you for watching.